Is there something the two of you wished that other parents would have told you before you? We were talking it? about this as well, wow. weren't we? Besides, so really hard. appreciate your daytime. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate your your own space and your quality time. Yeah. But to be honest, you know, you get so much advice when you're pregnant. You literally are just a magnet for friends and random people giving their advice, which is amazing. But also for me, I found it too much. I got to the point where I couldn't take it in and yeah. it became overwhelming and exhausting. So I basically had to switch off in order to cope with that. However, now I am a mum and I can think back to some of those bits of advice. I'm like, okay, yeah, it makes sense, but only now I'm going through it. At the yeah. time it was too much. I think also there's um, a part of you that thinks when you're pregnant, that's not gonna be me mm. or I'm gonna do things differently. That, And I think a lot of advice that people give you, it is, you know, you, you, you will do th things differently and it won't necessarily be mm -hmm. you, but you almost think that you've got it kind of under wraps. Mm -hmm. Then you have a baby and then you realize you don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're just and the same as everyone else, yeah, which is do. great because <laughs> you're all in this pond together. Yeah. So you don't necessarily take heed of the advice when you're pregnant, but definitely like uh, you know, after saying, well, when it begins to make like, sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when they were saying that, that's what they <laughs> yeah. meant, and it kind of, yeah. all kind of comes into play. When was yeah. the first time you had an aha moment, like when you were doing something? They were right. They were right. <laughs> um, a very good friend of mine, and probably the best piece of advice I was given um, was by a friend of mine called Lindsay, and she mm -hmm. said to me, it's all a phase. Just as you start to worry about it, they stop doing it. So when you've had three consecutive nights of no sleep, and you're just about to phone the sleep trainer and go out of your mind, or you do actually phone the sleep trainer. <laughs> <laughs> you're out of your mind. <laughs> you are out of your mind. <laughs> That night your child will sleep through the night. Yeah. Oh, like, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> don't panic. Like, and I think that for me was an aha moment. Mm -hmm. I did actually find the sleep trainer. Did um, you? Yes. Tell me about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't follow through with the sleep tra trainer because um, I got off the phone and I thought, I'm sure this has happened to me before where I've panicked about something and then it all changed. Mm. So I thought, okay, I'm going to give it one more night and then... Um, Ethan did actually sleep through, oh which good. was fantastic. But yeah, sleep training, that's a whole different Yeah, thing. that was a, a vlog that we want to write, is the number of different uh, ways of trying to get the baby to sleep that Kate and I both went through when we were you know, naught to four months old babies in tow. What are those ways? Do you know, I try, the fun, I think my funniest one was, because you read numerous books, internet, et cetera, oh. and they're about, you know, make sure it's calm and bath, lights down, even try classical music. So I, so we did, my husband and I, but all those had things. The, yes, yeah, so we had the lavender in the bath with the baby. <laughs> How romantic. We had the lights. No, no, it was actually very romantic. We actually had the lights dim. We were you know, after as I went into the bedroom and the lights were dim, I had classical music on. My husband had you know, gone back into the kitchen so as not to provide any disturbances. And then I was you know, trying to get him to sleep just wide awake. I was falling asleep, <laughs> but then my baby was wide awake for about an hour. So after an hour, I was like, it's not this. It. So I went outside into the living room, put him on a pillow on my knee, turned the TV on, and within five minutes, he was fast asleep. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So, no, yeah. <laughs> everyone has a book and everyone has an opinion and mm -hmm. everyone will give you advice. And yeah. I think the most common phrase in all of those books and opinions is, Put your child down drowsy, but yeah. not asleep. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Yeah. It means that they basically have to sleep train. They have to learn how to fall asleep. Okay. On their own. In yes. the yes. Yeah. On their own. So if you put them down asleep, then you're not actually teaching them oh, the skill. Oh, I see. I see. I see. But most children, if you, most babies, if you put them down drowsy but not awake, they don't fall asleep like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. They wake so. up. <laughs> And cry. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots of you end up trying um, the dummy and the swaddling, swaddling, and yeah. put him on his side. Don't put yeah. him on his back. Do you, you? You try everything. Everything. Everything that everyone's written, 
You probably give a go, a go at least one. <laughs> and then you think you're mad because it doesn't work for your baby. So you're thinking, I must be the only one that it doesn't work for. And you probably think, like, they published this in a book. Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. Must, it nice must yes. work. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No. <laughs> Having said all of that, though, I think the most important um, realization mm. out of all of that is trust your instincts. You're yeah, that would be my good advice. Your baby, trust your instincts. And yeah. you're the only person who knows how your baby's going to react to something. Mm. And I think, I think as moms, you get Googled out. Mm. You turn to Google for everything or you ask mm. for advice. And I think it's really important to take heed of all of that advice and, um, and ask the questions that you need to ask. But do what you think is right and what your gut says is right. And that will be the thing that will work for you. Well, I look forward Absolutely. to following your adventures in parenting. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. Definitely. Thank now, you. Just remind me and everyone watching this video how they can find you online and do the same. Um, our website is called mamasmeetingplace.co.za. So yeah. um, give us a Google. We're also on Facebook. So a Mama's Meeting Place, Facebook forward slash Mama's Meeting Place. Um, come like us and we will keep you up to date with all things mama and baba Absolutely. and help you find a support mom pack of your own yeah join us <laughs>